Hello everyone. In the current session, we will be discussing the basic terminology of relationship between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, the PK-PD relationship. So, the relationship between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics is also referred to as exposure response relationship and concentration effect relationship. And in the current session, we will discuss in detail about the terms such as what is exposure, response and effect. First of all, what is the need to establish a pharm PK PD relationship? Need for establishing pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic relationship. The exposure response relationship is used to determine the safety and efficacy of drugs in the process of drug approval. The exposure response relationship is used to determine the safety and the efficacy of drugs in the process of drug approval. For that reason, we need to establish a relationship between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. And more importantly, to understand the benefit risk of drugs during the drug approval process and to derive dosing information. So overall, to determine the safety and efficacy of the drugs, to understand the benefit and risks of the drugs and to derive the dosing information. These are the three factors which contribute the need for establishing a PKPD relationship. Now, coming to the first term, exposure. So what is exposure? The term exposure can be defined as any dose or drug input. The term exposure can be defined as any dose or drug input to the body or various measures of acute or integrated drug concentrations in the plasma or other biological fluids. It can be AUC, C minimum, minimum concentration, concentration at steady state CSS or maximum concentration Cmax. Any variable measure of the drug concentration or the dose or drug input can be considered as exposure. Exposure is related to the measure of drug amount at a particular site in the body from which it elicits a response. And any input to characterize the pharmacokinetic aspect of a drug is a measure of exposure. This is an important point. Any input to characterize the pharmacokinetic aspect of a drug is a measure of exposure. And the commonly used exposure measures are, first thing is dose of the drug is used as exposure and next one is plasma concentration of the drug. These are the two commonly used exposure measures. Coming to the next term, response. So what is response? A response refers to a direct measure of the pharmacologic observation. A response refers to the direct measure of the pharmacologic observation. For example, a measure of diastolic blood pressure, DBP, at some time point is considered to be a response. So RT is nothing but response at time T. Response is denoted by the term R. The next term is effect. Effect is denoted by E and it refers to the change in the biological response from one time to another. Effect refers to the change in the biological response from one time to another. An effect, in other words, an effect is a derived or calculated value from an observed response. A derived or a calculated value from an observed response is termed as effect. For example, a change in the baseline of the DBP is considered to be effect. Measuring the DBP at some point is considered as response and any change, hence it is called derived or calculated value. Any change in the baseline of the DBP is considered to be effect. Effect is equals to E. It is the change in the baseline in DBP, diastolic blood pressure at 8 weeks. So let us look at a practical example. The diastolic blood pressure measured at the beginning of a clinical trial in a subject is, let us consider, 92 mg Hg mmHg and it is denoted as r t is equals to 0 because it is the initial value. 
diastolic pressure is 92 mm Hg. It is the beginning of a clinical trial and the DBP measured at the end of 8 weeks of the trial RT is equals to 8 here is 82 mm Hg. Here RT is equals to 0 and RT is equals to 8 are the responses and the effect which is of clinical interest is the change from the baseline in DBP at the end of 8 weeks which is calculated as minus 10 mm Hg. So effect is equals to RT8 minus RT0 which is nothing but 82 mm Hg minus 92 mm Hg and here the effect is minus 10 mm Hg. So the drug is able to reduce the diastolic blood pressure by 10 points. So that is the calculated effect.